What's going on, guys? Oh, is this filming? Okay. Yes, it is filming. And this is, like I told you guys in one of my uh, videos of the BYG show, this is the Horizon show kind of thing with me and Sam. I don't know yes. what we're going to call it. Bro, let's call it the, well, okay. I'm Sam, by the way, for those of you that may not have watched other videos. I'm from Lawrenceburg, Tennessee, and I'm excited to be on this channel and uh, on YouTube now. Let's see, the Horizon show, I don't know. What about uh, Show Day Horizons? Show Day Horizons. Show Day Horizons. Uh, Alright, we'll stick with the Horizon Show. Sounds well, good. Well, unless we figure out something I else. I tell you what, in our further videos, we may change it. But for now, we'll be with the yeah, Horizon Show. Because hopefully, we won't, this won't be just at Horizons, this little show we're doing. Yes, hopefully, it will be. Anywhere expansive. Yeah, moving expansive. On. Moving on. Yes. Especially since you and I are going to the same school. Right, right. I mean, okay, so <coughs> forward to looking we're looking forward to this week. Hugely looking forward to. Very looking forward to. It's Sunday afternoon. Got registered just, a little while ago. Yep. Just a, a little bit. Checked ago. into our rooms. And I'm in Pharaoh and he's in Sewell. I'm in Sewell, much cleaner place. Yes, it is. Not quite, not super well, it's very clean. They gave us these bags at the registration. And it has before his throne, which is the theme. The theme verse being Psalm 103 19. They give you a notepad, which I have plenty in my backpack, so a sticker, I'm guessing. Which, if, I, if my memory serves me correctly, the Lord has established his kingdom in the heavens, or excuse me, the Lord has established his throne in the heavens and his kingdom rules over all, if I'm correct. Well, they'll look it up. And our theme song is Before the Throne of God that Above. Song. It's also Before. Very wonderful song. And then we have whatever these are, I think calendar thing, and the shirts. And yes, shirt. the shirts, which are purple and gold. Actually, purple and more of a yellow. That's my school color, Lawrence County High School. Lawrence boom. County. Excuse me, Lawrence boom, County boom. High School. I like these shirts. Very, very before the throne boom. of God above. Yeah, that's the theme song, so you know it now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and also they give you the schedule. I have not looked at the schedule. It has the I know this song pretty much to heart, so I probably don't even look at this. Um, just in case, do we have a pen? Pens. These pens. Oh, and of course, the, the things, and then... Bracelets. 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 I got plenty oh, here. I think we need to zoom in on this pen. This here's a special, special pen with the crown on it. I mean, what else, right? <clears throat> Too bad we can't have Burger King cater. Right. L-O-L. Lol. Anyhow. All right, so this is pretty much the pamphlet. Now I'm going to go run through the schedule real quick with you guys. There's a council meeting. This has nothing to do with the campers. So campers, the dining hall will open at 4 o'clock. Yes. And, and while we're doing this, I just want to give those of you who may not have been to Horizons before or those of you who plan on coming in the future a brief overview of kind of what this is. I think the best uh, summary of the whole week would be a spiritual leadership camp hosted at Free Harmony University. Now you know you have Go Camp, you have Mid-South U Camp, you have camps like Quest and things like that, but Horizons is a little bit different. It started 34 years ago, this is the 34th year, as a young men's preacher training camp started by Coleman Crocker. I actually am good friends with Coleman Crocker's um, granddaughter and great-grandchildren. He started as a preacher's training camp, and it developed into what it is today, which is a spiritual leadership camp for young men and women ages uh, 7th to 12th grade, I guess, sometimes 6th. You kind of stop being a camper whenever you uh, become, uh, when you graduate high school? Yeah, when you graduate, you're a camper one more time, and then you might you can be a counselor yeah, after that. But you get here on Sunday, and Sunday's kind of a free day. You know, you have worship at night, and then Monday through Thursday, you've got all different kinds of activities, all different kinds of classes. Um, the men, I don't know, I wish they'd have the women do speaking classes because we need women that are good speakers for women events, obviously. But um, when, I know the guys have speaker or speaking and leadership classes, and then you also get to choose an elective class. And Horizons is really neat with elective classes because what you get to pick is, like for example, a class like I'm taking, like Broken Families. I've had classes in the past on prison ministry. There's classes for uh, disaster relief, crisis, helping during those times, song leading, advanced song leading, lots of different things like that. Interesting things for you to take advantage of. So you have those during the day, and then there's something else, a fun thing that happens over in the sports. Yeah, there. it's just like a, it comes. It's right after the night devotion, a devotion well thing. And what is that called? That Jerry Elder and Will Williams run the morning show. The morning show, yes, they do that in the morning. It's, it's a lot of fun. 
It's a wake, tell them what time it starts. It's a wake up show after breakfast to get your brain fired up and your body ready to go. Um, 8.15. 8.15. Breakfast starts at 7 o'clock. And then, since Jerry and Webb are such fun and amazing people, they Which, you guys have seen Jerry on many of my other videos. Yes, you have. Since they're such fun and amazing people, they also do something called the Horizon. Horizon. Are we doing that this year? I think so. I think they saw I think I saw the banner. Okay, I believe we're doing that, but they've done it. They've done it in the past. The Horizon. That's a lot of fun. They do different activities and, and have games over there for campers to do. It's a great week, and not only because of that, but because of the conversations that you get to have with people, the new friends you get to meet. Oh, and, uh, plenty of friends. I met Sam here. That's right. That's right. Actually, I met you at CYC, but we didn't become friends. Right. Horizons. Right. Uh, there's so many things for you to take advantage of. Uh, and then uh, getting to experience kind of what Free Hardman's like just a little bit is no neat thing. And, uh, uh, of course, Gano is always top of the list. Probably. Top of the beat. I'll Just kidding. There's a little something called the Gano effect. After you eat Gano for about two, three days, your body is going to react a little bit differently. Oh, and I'll just leave it at that right there. Man. Okay? Oh, man. But, but Horizons is an amazing spiritual experience, I, I, I promise you. And it's worth the $200 to come. Absolutely. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's, what's your class is, Sam? My class is a class called Broken Families. I can't remember exactly who it's taught by, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm doing a, a Christian Apologetics. Christian Apologetics. By Barry Thornberry. Barry, Barry Thornberry. Barry yes. Thornberry. 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 He's a fantastic teacher. In fact, if, if I had to pick three teachers in the church that I could pick for something, he would be in the top. Oh, three. yeah, definitely. He's an amazing teacher. He's from the Highland Church of Christ in Columbia. If you're and, from uh, Columbia, you're cool. Columbia has good churches. Have leadership and auditorium D. Cool. And speaking in room. Yeah, and that's, that's what I illustrated with the leadership and speaking classes. But yeah. So, people from, I think there's a total of 888 campers this year. And 888? Yes. And if you look in your book, Praise for the Lord, your psalm book, 888 is Thank You Lord. So that's kind of coincidental. Dude, yes. righteous. righteous. <laughs> that's right. So, guys, uh, here in actually, in another hour or so, we'll have. Uh, We'll have dinner starting, and then we'll have uh, evening worship, and then after that we'll have uh, mixers. Mixers, yes. At 7.15 to 8, and then we'll have... What is a mixer, you ask? Is it a thing that you use to mix a cake? No. A mixer is an activity that you use to get to know people. Yeah. Get to know you guys. That's what mixer is. I met Trey at mixers last year. Trey's awesome. I, I, I haven't seen him yet, sadly, but I hope I haven't. I haven't either. Hope we'll see him. And the worship here is awesome too. Oh, that's, absolutely. That's my favorite part. Is Kirk worship. Brothers is, is, is um, speaking tonight. Yes, Kirk is speaking. He spoke at my church the other day. Cool. Yeah. Kirk's a good preacher and teacher. And 8.15 is the Horizon, Horizons Game Show Night. What is that? You, you ask. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know what that is either. So we're gonna, you guys are going to look forward to seeing what this is because you're going to figure it out what I yes, have to say. Yes, yes you are. And then Dorn Life, and then of course that's Devo's, and then uh, Horizons Players meet. I'm not in Horizons Players. Oh, let's address that real quick. Horizons Players and Horizons Singers. Horizons Players is every morning about 8.32 a.m. They put on a little skit. If you've ever been to CYC and maybe seen the, uh, what do they call them? SWAT. SWAT. Skits with a... I kind of like that. Skits with the truth. Without or, speaking. Something without like speaking that. Around. Anyway. But yeah. Um, they do kind of a little skit every morning. It's, it's usually pretty neat. And then there's also a thing called Horizon Singers, which I've been in the past two years. A group of people gets together to sing. There's a junior group and a senior group. Uh, if it is like it has been in the past, the junior group will meet downstairs in Old Main, and the senior group will meet in Old Chapel Hall. You'll rehearse on Monday and Tuesday, and then Wednesday night, after the worship service is over, you will both perform. It's a lot of fun, great opportunity. So, Absolutely. if you are interested in Horizons Players for you theatrical people, or Horizons Singers for you musical singers. people. And I'm kind of both of them, but I prefer singing uh, even more than that. So, get uh, involved in those if you possibly can. It's like I say, I prefer singing. That being said, I own my own YouTube channel. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but anyway, but guys, like I said, throughout the week, you're going to see me and Sam do plenty yes. of videos. And we're going we're gonna to run through the schedule just like we did today. We're not going to do all the schedule. We're going to talk about some of the things starting there. We're going to talk about some of the things um, that the lessons are about, too, so you kind of get a yeah. feel of what's going so on. So this, uh, the lesson tonight, is before him, like what Kirk Brothers is uh, speaking on. So looking forward to see what that's about. And you guys will see little highlights of, the, of it tonight. Yes. Um, I'll be recording 
So guys, me and Sam are gonna so excited. We're gonna go enjoy the rest of Horizons. I'll be yes, videotaping. We are very excited. So you guys are gonna be enjoying it with us. Um, so guys, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. We'll see you guys tomorrow or sometime see you tomorrow. else. Bye. Today.